Welcome viewers, welcome to the new lesson from Dr. Arts Biology. If you did not subscribe my channel yet, you can just subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to receive notification on my new videos. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about why DNA replaced RNA as a genetic material. We know that at the initial stage of evolution, RNA was the genetic material of living organisms. But later, DNA replaced RNA. Why? So it's a natural rule of removing the unfit. So let us see why DNA replaced RNA as the genetic material. If you are just asking this question, the answer to the question is nothing but DNA is more stable than RNA. Now again, one more question comes there. How? How DNA is more stable than RNA? We can describe DNA is more stable than RNA by discussing three aspects. First one is DNA is less reactive. And the second thing is DNA is double-stranded. And third thing is DNA is non-catalytic. So let us see these aspects one by one. So the first and important point that makes the DNA more stable than RNA is nothing but the presence of deoxyribose sugar. We know that uh, it is due to the presence of ribose sugar and deoxyribose sugar that makes the name of ribonucleic acid and deoxyribonucleic acid respectively. In case of the ribonucleic acid or RNA, the sugar present is nothing but the ribose sugar. And in case of the DNA, the sugar present is the deoxyribose sugar. So you can see here, in case of the ribose sugar, the 2 dash carbon contains an hydroxyl group that means which contain an oxygen. This oxygen is not bonding with anything and as a result it become more reactive. So this oxygen is a highly reactive species. But in case of the deoxyribose we can see that the 2 dash carbon doesn't contain that oxygen. That means the DNA is less reactive due to the presence of deoxyribose. So that's why the first aspect is more important that make the DNA more stable because due to the lack of oxygen at the 2 dash carbon, DNA become less reactive. It is indirectly is due to the lack of less reactive or more reactive oxygen species absence. So absence of oxygen, that reactive oxygen at 2 dash carbon makes the DNA less reactive and therefore more stable. So let us see the next property. We can see that in case of the DNA, thymine is there instead of uracil that was present in RNA. Now what is the advantage of thymine in DNA compared to the uracil? So you can see here the thymine is nothing but the methylated uracil. The presence of methyl group is actually making thymine more resistive or more resistant against the enzymatic reactions. So nuclease activity can be prevented by the presence of this methyl group. So the methylation is actually making this particular thymine more resistant against enzymatic degradation or any other kind of unstable nature. Hope you remember, we heard about the methylation of the tip of DNA or the nucleic acid to make them more stable. So the same principle is applicable here due to the presence of methyl group in this particular position makes the thymine more stable than uracil. So in RNA, uracil is there, in DNA, thymine is there. So due to the presence of thymine, DNA become more stable. Let us move to the next aspect. We can see that the DNA is double-stranded in nature. So, what is the advantage of double-stranded nature of DNA over the RNA? So, we can see that uh, as DNA is double-stranded, a complementary base pairing is happening. And this complementarity allows editing in the proper way. How it is allowing editing? Because we know that uh, semi-conservative mechanism of DNA replication is happening. That means one template strand will be the one which is there in the previous DNA. And from that a new strand will be made. 
okay so during the addition of nucleotides if any error happens that means instead of guanine if adenine is added then the error checking mechanism the proofreading mechanism will be reading that and it will be just matching with the template strand if it is not matching then it will be replacing guanine or re re replacing adenine and then guanine will be added so that mechanism is possible only because of the double stranded nature of the dna so the second positive thing about the DNA double-stranded nature is the arrangement of hydrophobic and hydrophilic groups in the DNA double helix. As a result, the interaction become bleached and uh, as a result, finally, the DNA become more stable. So you can see here, in this particular figure, this particular sugar and phosphate group actually represents the hydrophilic group. And the nitrogen bases is representing the hydrophobic group. So we can see here in double stranded DNA, the hydrophobic nitrogen bases are occupying inside of the DNA. As a result, it is less interacting with the hydrophilic nature of the cytoplasm or nucleoplasm or whatever it may be. Okay, but in case you can see that the hydrophilic sugar and phosphate groups are outer part of the DNA. And as a result, it can interact with the outer environment, which is actually hydrophilic. So this is possible only because of the double stranded nature of the DNA. And the third thing is the stacked nature of DNA base pairs. Stacked means we can see that the nitrogen bases in DNA is actually placed one above the other. Just like if you are just placing one coin above the other, that stacked nature is there in DNA nitrogen bases so you can see in this particular figure so this particular figure is actually representing that stacked nature so you can see that it is yellow the yellow represents or the yellow and blue represents the pyrimidines and the red and brown represents the purines so you can see that these are arranged one above the other so at from one base pair to the next base pair the nitrogen bases are arranged one above the other you can see in this particular figure also so this particular arrangement gives greater freedom for electrons and thus it makes the dna more stable and it makes the dna helix more stable now coming to the last aspect we can see that the rna is catalytic in nature how RNA can act as a catalyst? We know that uh, we heard about uh, ribozymes. Ribozymes are nothing but the RNA which can act as enzyme or catalyst. This single stranded RNA can fall to form different structures and that can take part in enzymatic reactions. That means it can uh, helps in the reactions. It can helps in the reaction as a catalyst. So they are involved in the catalytic reaction. You have to remember the positive aspect during the course of evolution in the initial stage this catalytic nature makes the rna more fit as a genetic material because rna can store the genetic information as well as it can catalyst or it can act as a catalyst for the chemical reactions so both function in a single molecule that makes the rna more fit as a genetic material at the initial stage of evolution but now it's not possible because we need a more stable molecule to store the genetic information and pass it to the next generation. As RNA is catalytic in nature, it becomes more unstable. And as a result, it becomes unfit for the storing genetic information. So you can see here the folding of the RNA molecules to form the ribozyme and all. So these are the aspects that make the DNA more stable than RNA and it is by considering this nature of the DNA, nature selected DNA as the genetic material and it replaced RNA which was the previously genetic material in living organism during the initial stages of evolution. So that's it and thank you for watching. If you did not subscribe, you just click on the subscribe button and the bell icon. Thank you. Thank you for watching.